and my name is Peng Chen. On this video, we will compare five different Yamaha guitars. They are all Yamaha A-series guitars, including A5R, A5M, AC5R, AC3M, and A1M. I'll use a good mic for micing them and let you hear the dry sound first. So mic I'm using called NT4, it's made by Rode. The song I played is called Ice Time One By. It's the original music from my composing. I play a few bars and try to connect together so we can hear different sound on different guitars. Alright, you just heard five different guitar sounds under the same micing position. There's no EQ at all. Uh, I do use a compressor and limiter when I mix down the audio track to the videos. The so next step, I'll compare the five guitar under the preamp sections. All the five guitar have their own preamp built in here. So I'm going to plug in one cable to my sound card input. There's no micing at all. I'll apply a little reverb, no EQ at all. I'll play a short part from a song called Moon River, it's my arrangement, so you can compare the five different guitar how that sounds like. Alright, the final step, I'll do a test for the five different guitars by using the micing, also the signal from the plugin, from the preamp. So you heard the sound is mixed with micing and preamp section together, so it's going to be much fuller sound. There's no equalize applied to tracks, but I do apply some reverb, a little compressing and limiting. I'm going to play the same song, but this time it's my different arrangement. It's much faster with a jazz walking bass line.
So Yamaha A series guitar are really good for the price range, but they are not perfect. If you just open box and try to play them, you might be feel the action is not that good. I did some adjustment on the nut uh, bridge, uh, even on some fret leveling a little bit fret. Might be the wider too dry, the fingerboard might be changing shapes. This one model you need to be pay attention, AC3 amp or AC3R. The fingerboard has been sanding down a little bit on the side on both sides. So you can feel a little bit easier when you cross the neck to play some chord. But you might be feel the fingerboard is too narrow, maybe easier to push the string away. Like this. So what I did is I removed the nut, I sanding down a little bit down here, so I moved the nut like half a millimeter down to this way. So make a little more space under the low E strings. So plays nice, very nice. There's one thing I need to tell you is about the battery holder. Uh, I found there's some weird noise came out when I play the lower notes, B or B flat sometimes. Sometimes no, sometimes yes. So I figured out this came from the battery holder. To avoid this kind of problem, you need to be very careful when you install the battery holder. Maybe put some padding or tape around the battery, then install to the holder. Make sure it's very tight so it doesn't make any noise when you play some lower frequency note like this. Alright, my name is Peng Chen. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'll see you on the next show.